I'll give you a little bit of, you know, history on the last few months and a little more knowledge on how the mortgage business works so we really understand how we got to where we are today. So the mortgage business really runs on liquidity, meaning money must continue to move around for it to work. People buying, selling, refinancing, and making payments on those loans. When payments stop, it makes lending to the next person that much more difficult. So when COVID hit and so many businesses were forced to stop or adapt or close, and a lot of those loans went into forbearance, it ended up stopping a lot of the cash flow that ends up helping our industry continue to stay moving and stay prosperous. So what happens when that, when that, when we saw that is a lot of the jumbo market left, meaning any loans, not uh, uh, above the conforming loan limit, which is 510,000 and change right now. So anything over that limit would have uh, fallen in a jumbo, anything that doesn't fit in the qualified mortgage space, meaning not backed by a government sponsored entity, all of those programs essentially went away overnight. And it really made us look at ourselves and go, oh my goodness, are we having another 2008 where the liquidity, back to my first point, started to remove from the market because people stopped paying their mortgages, which created issues down the road. 